Hello all, got a Sony Vio in, uh, suspected hard drive failure, so we're just going to uh, run a test on this now just to uh, to see. Now the Sony Vio does have its own built in software um, which is uh, on the recovery partition of the drive. So what we'll do first of all, what we need to do is we need to power this on, so we hit the power button and we tap F10 and as you can see it comes up into an option for the boots and we just hit enter and now we're going to boot off the, uh, the recovery partition uh, like you can see me in the screen, that's the reflection of the screen that because I've just cleaned the screen, it was that filthy I couldn't see see anything. I'll just give this a minute to boot up. I'll just level this camera up a little bit. As I said Sony, uh, Sony has its own um, hardware diagnostics built into the, uh, the recovery partition. Now the recovery partition is fine on this um, from what we can make out. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to um, click on the VIO Hardware Diagnostics and then we hit the start and we're just going to hit the run test. Okay, and this is going to test everything now just going to test the uh, the processors uh, or the processor and every um, every core on the processor. It'll then do a memory test and then it'll run through and do the uh, the hard drive test. Now it's moved on now to the uh, HDD test and it's uh, testing the hard drive now. Now it seems to be stuck on this uh, funnel seat test at the moment, eighty five percent which tells me that there is a problem with the hard drive. Well I actually know there's a problem with the hard drive because I've already run this test uh, earlier on before we started to make the video and uh, we also tried um, HDD regen on the uh, on the drive and it found something like 300 and something uh, bad sectors so we stopped it there and decided that uh, the hard drive is non-recoverable so I thought I'd just just go through the motions there with you and just show you that you can actually run um, a diagnostic test from the built-in software that comes with uh, most uh, Sony laptops so the next thing we need to do now we need to um, shut this down and strip the system down so the next thing we need to do now is we need to um, make sure that we've got the the power dis disconnected we need to remove the uh, the battery out of the system. Which isn't the easiest to get out. So that comes out like so. And then what we need to do, we need to remove all of these screws all the way around the laptop. We'll take this cover off as well and remove the memory out of here. Find a screwdriver. And just uh, whip this cover off here, just so that we can get to the uh, the memory modules inside. Okay, so that comes off like so. Put that one one side. Put the screws away in a pot, and then we're just going to remove all these screws all the way around the laptop. We've removed all the screws now and I've marked up on this particular unit move that along a little bit so you can see in the corners here the uh, the screws are if I can grab one that's the standard screw that's in them and then right on these very corners the screws are a lot fatter and that's the uh, the other screw there. 
So we've got the fat screw and the uh, standard size screw. So what I've done, I've just put a bit of tape on here and marked um, fat there and on the other corner I've marked fat and here I've marked that these two screws are short screws. Now it's a good idea just to mark up because you never know when you might be putting it back together again. Now I got this uh, little tip from timscomputerfix.com um, another YouTube, fellow YouTuber uh, I'll put a link in the uh, the description there so you can check his channel out. He's got some uh, great tips and some uh, great teardowns on his channel. The next thing we're going to do, we're just going to uh, take out this DVD drive here. Now, sometimes you can just get hold of it and pull it out. If not, you might just need to get a, a spudgy down there just to ease it out. And that just slides out like so. It looks like there might have been a bit of uh, spillage on there at some point. So I'm not sure. The next thing we do now, we just gently ease this cover off. Just making sure we've got all the screws out. Just looking as we go. Now if you feel any resistance or anything, then it's a good idea just to stop. And have a look. Okay, so that lifts off quite nicely. And I'm just looking. It does look as though something has been spilt on here at some point. There is a bit of uh, a bit of spillage damage there on the uh, on the inside, but nothing to worry about. Now this exposes um, the hard drive. This is the hard drive here. It's got a Samsung hard drive in it. Uh, 250 gigabyte I believe so the next thing we need to do then is just uh, remove a screw out of the hard drive so that we can get into it so this is the screw that we need to be removing so we drop this screw out and this should all just pull forward like so and it's the same size screw as the all the others so we don't need to worry about marking anything up there and then all we do is gently ease this forward by lifting it up although the tag isn't very good it's fell off in my hand Now I've just spotted another screw on the back of this, there's another screw over here, just on the back end as well. And again, that's just the standard size screw, so we don't need to mark anything there. Now this should now just pull forward, like so, and lift out. And there you have it, that's the hard drive out of the, uh, the case. And all we need to do then is just drop these uh, four screws off the side, ready to accept the new uh, the new drive. So we've uh, removed the four screws out of here now, and just remove the uh, the drive like so. And now we're ready to accept the new one. So here's the new drive. Now I've already. Um, image this drive and basically what I've done I've put it in a, um, a caddy uh, I put the two drives in together and I hit a button twice and what it does it does a clone of the old drive now it did take a while because of the bad sectors on this drive but uh, we have done it so once we've installed this it's just a case of uh, running the recovery software and away we go and we're back in business So we just need to drop that in there, just make sure it's in. And then we just put these four screws back in all the way around. So 
So there's the four screws all back in and then it's just a case of putting it all back together again now in reverse order. Slide the caddy in, don't force anything and then I don't know if you can see on here but these little arrows, let me just zoom in a little bit Okay, I don't know if you can see on there, but there's little arrows on that one and on this one here and they're the ones that the screws go in. Now there's no arrows on these because these accept the screws through the uh, the panel. One in there. And then it's just a case of reassembling this now in reverse order. Now, because this is like an all-in-one panel that I could just drop straight onto the back here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drop that onto it, push it into place, and I'm just going to install the, um, the RAM modules. Like so. Let's move that out of the way. I'm not going to put any uh, cases, covers or batteries in it just yet. So I'm just going to drop the power lead in the back here. Just so we can... Let's turn that around so you can see. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hit the power button. And I'm tapping F10 just to make sure everything loads up. Yep, and that's great, that's working fine. So it's read the, um, the recovery software off the drive. So all we need to do now is to um, put this all back together. Now when I drop all these screws in what I've done I've dropped them all into the correct holes and then I have a standard procedure that I go through when I tighten all the screws up. All I do is I start at the corner and I work my way all the way around the outside and then we move into the middle like so and that's the end. So we start with this one I drop them in, really tighten those two, and then I work all the way along now. Screwing all the screws up. Now a lot of people use um, battery operated screwdrivers. Now I'm not a big fan of them. They're alright for taking screws out, but for putting them in, with them being such uh, fine threaded screws, there is a possibility of you threading them or jamming them in because you don't have the uh, the same feel I don't think but that's just my opinion I mean I'll probably have comments saying well I use it all the time and I've never stripped one yet but you've got more chance of stripping the thread on a Uh, with a with a uh, battery operated screwdriver then you have doing it by hand because you can actually feel how tight it gets with a battery operated one although it's got a torque on it it can strip that thread before that torque bites so that is all the way around the outside now and then we just move on to the middle now. Oh, I've done that one as I went. And 
and you can see I'm sort of working up now and that round and that's basically how you remove and replace a hard drive in a Sony Vio uh, most uh, laptops have a cover that you just lift out you can get straight to the um, the the hard drive but in this case not so lucky so all we need to do now is just remove the um, the tape which this particular tape stuck a lot better than I thought it would and it does come off and doesn't leave any uh, any residue and we just double check make sure we've got them all in and they're all tight we just need to put that cover onto there and that is us done and what I did do whilst the uh, the cover was off I just gave the uh, the fan a blow out and just make sure there was no uh, no dust and crud in there because whilst the covers off may as well give it a clean so you having to take it off again at a later date and then we whack the battery back in so we get it to go in this one's on like a hinge and that's it all done so all we need to do now is um, fire it up onto the recovery and that's the job done so thanks for watching if you like my videos don't forget to hit that like button and if you hit that subscribe button you'll get updates as and when we put new videos up so thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a comment if you like the videos and we'll see you again.